Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to be depotting my black opal foundation sticks. I currently have eight foundation sticks and I'm going to be depotting them. I'm going to be put them, putting them into a MAC palette. Now this palette is can be used to depot lipsticks, cream eyeshadows, blushes, whatever you have. But this is the insert that I'm going to be using and it has 12 different areas where you can depot eyeshadows foundation or whatever you decide but because I'm going to be doing these black opal sticks and I only have eight foundation sticks I'm going to be doing some custom blending now if you have black opal or even Bobbi Brown foundation sticks or products that you want to depot and you can get access to this particular insert because I know my Mac store didn't have it you can also get these little plastic containers I actually have a whole bunch of these and I currently use these to depot some lipsticks now they come you can get them from the container store as well but they are stackable clear cylinders and you can depot your eyeshadow foundations lipstick inside of here and this is another good alternative and it basically helps to keep your foundation colors all together it cuts down on space in your makeup kits or in your personal storage and they're really good to carry around so if you don't have access to the MAC palettes or any other palette these are a good alternative I particularly got this one from the craft store this was Michaels and it came with one two three four five six six of these stackable containers with the plastic container as well and I only paid nine dollars for it and I had a coupon which was 50% off so five dollars for all of these containers so you can't beat that and this MAC one was ten dollars eight dollars for the container I'm sorry ten dollars it was twelve dollars so it was ten dollars for the palette two dollars for the insert now what am I going to be needing you're going to need all of your foundation colors I again I have seven of them you're going to need whatever you're going to be using to depop I have a paring knife. You can use a butter knife or some scissors. I also have some hand sanitizer because remember, if you don't want clean hands, I wash my hands, but because I'm touching all this plastic and all this other stuff, I'm going to be using hand sanitizer as well because I'm touching stuff on my desk and a clean towel. So let's get started. So because I have a little bit of OCD, <laughs> I'm going to be making sure that I put everything back in its place. So the first color I'm going to be showing you guys how to depot is sand. And it's the lightest color that they have from Black Opal. This is what the foundation sticks looks like. So the, the actual stick itself, you see, is a lot of space. I can't imagine holding all of this in my makeup kit. So I have to condense some of this product. So I'm going to roll it out. Now I'm not going to roll it all the way up because remember, I'm going to be custom blending some of these colors. This is my lightest shade, so I don't want to use all of this to depot. I want to use some of this to custom blend. So I'm going to roll it maybe about two-thirds of the way up. Let's move these out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to pop that right back into its original lid. I'm going to continue that same process with all of the rest of my foundations and I'll be right back. take two custom blending okay so what I'm going to do now is because as I told you guys my insert has 12 compartments but I only have seven different shades of foundation so I want to custom make five more different shades so what I'm going to be doing is taking those clear cylinders I talked to you guys earlier about that I got from the craft store they look like this all I'm going to do is take them apart and I'm going to create five custom colors I'm going to do that by taking two shades and making one color so I'm going to take these two shades make one color these two shades these two shades so on and so forth 
So we're going to start. I'm going to start with my first, which is my lightest color. And I'm making sure that I'm not going to use too much of either or. So I'm going to just roll it down halfway. This is how much of that shade I have left. And I'm going to roll it just halfway down. Because these containers aren't that large and they don't hold as much product. So I don't want them to overflow. And I'm going to take just a little of that shade and I'm going to place it inside. I'm going to do the same thing with the next color. I'm going to place it right here so I'm going to place it right in the middle so I know which two colors were mixed and I don't want them to get confused because when I, I put them inside of my palette I am very anal and if it's in the wrong spot I'm going to like have a conniption so I have to be really careful where I place these colors so I'm going to continue to do the same exact thing with these next two colors and I'm then going to place that color right next to them as well So that's the next color, it goes here. I'm going to continue that same process until I get all of these depotted. So for my last cup, I wanted to actually show you guys what I decided to do. I was initially going to take the last two colors and just place it here and mix those two together, but I decided not to do that because the color that I was missing from the entire eight shades was a color called Nutmeg, and it looks very similar to the color that I just mixed which was the last two colors so I decided to take my darkest foundation color and my lightest foundation color and these two colors are sand and black walnut and I'm going to mix these two together for my last custom color So what I'm going to do now that all of the foundations have been depotted, I'm going to take all of the initial seven shades that I had, the original seven, which were the shades that I had in the actual tops. I'm going to take that and I'm going to start to depot those. So those are the colors that are going to be in my plate first. I'm going to take each shade, I'm going to put it in the microwave for no longer than 60 seconds and then I'm going to pour them inside of the container so I'll be right back so here are two of the shades that I just put inside of the microwave and I'm going to just pour them into the container And this is what you're going to start to get. So I'm going to continue to melt all of the original seven shades that I have. I'm going to put those shades on the top row and then my darker shade will go here. And then I'm going to come back and show you how I'm going to place my custom colors. Okay guys, so this is what all of the seven colors that I have look like. Now I'm going to be melting my custom colors so these five colors are going to go in the last five remaining slots 
Now I'm going to melt the remaining foundations, add those into my missing slots, and that should be in the tutorial. I'll show you what they look like, but that is basically it. That's how I depotted all of my black opal stick foundations. Again, you can do this with foundations, lipstick, whatever you choose. Any cream product can be depotted. So this is going to save me a ton of space inside of my makeup kit, and that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and share so I'll be back to show you the end result and thanks for watching and this is the finished result so all of the original colors are at the top at the bottom these are all of the custom colors and that's it Here is the tin that I mixed all of the custom colors in. So just in case I run out or I need some backup, I can keep this in my makeup kit as well. And this can be for smaller jobs or just an extra. So try not to waste any product. That's why I love these little containers. As I said, you can get these from Michaels and they are about $10 and you get a large case. So toss it back inside and there you go.